Maybe it's finally starting to click here for Lance with the way that they've played and uh, the style that they've played. And, you know, they brought that hustle, and they've been in a lot of games this year. They just haven't closed out a lot. Well, now they're starting to learn how to close those out. Yeah, that's right. As they've, these last few games have found what players are playing best together, as Nick DiPello, assistant coach for the Pitt Panthers, was telling us before the game, they really worked hard as a coaching staff to see which five players play best together, and they figured that out. Aside from today, with them honoring and celebrating and starting with their seniors, they really have been figuring out which five play their best basketball and, together. And, of course, Neil Ivey has done a great job with this Notre Dame program. She is very familiar with Notre Dame, having played, been an assistant coach, and now as head coach, Notre Dame is playing some really solid basketball, and, man, their recruiting has not dropped off at all. In fact, is it possible it's even gotten better <laughs> with the I mean, you look up and down their roster. It, it's pretty amazing. As we're set to go here in Pittsburgh, Maddie Westbelt will jump against Cynthia Zaza, and it's controlled by Amy Hayford and the Panthers. We mentioned that senior starting lineup for Pitt of Harris, Hayford, Brown, Destiny Struther, and Azaza. Amber Brown has it top of the key to Hayford. Hayford, good fake, kicking it out. Struther can hit that three, and you see the tight defense, but ball taken away. Quickly coming the other way is Bransford. She lays it up and rolls in as Notre Dame is on the board first in a 2 nothing lead. And K.K. Bransford is going to be something special here for this Notre Dame squad as she's gotten a little bit more time as of late just with the absence of Dara Mabry. Nice to see her get started with a, a two. And there's Struther. She misses the rebound going to Kylie Watson who has played some really uh, outstanding basketball the last couple of games for Notre Dame. Look down low. Great feed from Westbelt. Watson misses but will go to the line. And Jeff, they waste no time going right back to Kylie Watson as you said. So substitutions now for the Panthers as Marley Washnitz, Malia Johnson, and Gabby Hutcherson are in for the Panthers. First free throw is good, a 3-0 lead for the Irish. And this right here, Jeff, this, this five who are now out there have been their starting lineup the past few games. So they got back quickly, just under under a minute they go back to that starting five Johnson with confidence hits the runner Citron back to Miles and that'll be important for Notre Dame early to get on the offensive glass as Pitt is in how they have been over these last 10-15 games in a zone as you see Maddie Westbelt stepping out to knock it down from three yeah, she shoots at 35% from three and makes that three. Amber Brown hesitation and drive, but blocked out of bounds by Watson. Great defense. And a foul stance. on Watson. We were noting when, when you look at Notre Dame, it's not just that they're tall, as Ebo has entered the game for Notre Dame, but they're thick, they're strong down low. Yeah, that's right. They're a big force down low inside with Lauren Ebo, number four, Kassan Prosper checking into the game. She is a guard for Notre Dame. She's just a freshman, but she is 6'2 with a long wingspan. Do you have a lot of 6'2 guards guarding you in college? I will say when that happened, it was extremely difficult to get around them, that's for sure. And we've got a foul on Notre Dame as Amy Hayford is down. We'll take a look exactly at what happened. Yes, yeah, Neo Ivy, head coach of Notre Dame, wasn't happy about that call. Oh, and you see Ebo's hand just hit, caught the face of Hayford. Yeah, I don't think there was anything here, intentional there, but oof, just right uh, across the face. So we'll take a timeout here as Amy Hayford looks to get better. It's the Fighting Irish leading the Panthers 6 3, 7 0, 8 to play here in the first quarter. Citron will inbound. Notre Dame a chance to win it. Citron to Watson. Miles for the win. Got it to go. Olivia Miles, a stone cold killer for the win. Wow, what a win for Notre Dame over the 
the Louisville Cardinals and Olivia Miles, her legend just continues to grow. Yeah, and Jeff, not predicting her future, but I'm going to say this is just one of the few shining moments in her bright, bright career at Notre Dame. It was so interesting talking to you know Ivy about her. I'm sure she hears it all the time. People just praise her point guard, but being a point guard myself and hearing from Coach Ivy just saying she's not there yet, and that's so interesting to say and to talk about because the ceiling is so high for her, and look what she has already done in the AC across the NCAA. So it's it's something scary to talk about, but also pretty cool and pretty special to see what we'll see from her in the future. Leah Johnson hits the bucket for Pitt, an offensive rebound and put back by Lauren Ebo. And that's what they've been missing, the Fighting Irish, from Lauren Ebo. She's all over the offensive class. She gets herself second chance to opportunities. Washington's got caught there with no one to be able to pass it to and miss that shot. Miles over to Citron, down low, West Bell, turn around. Boy, how many times have you said that, those three touching the ball? Seems like a down year, but still 11 points and seven rebounds, and there's another rebound for West Bell. She gets it done on both ends of the floor with the type of player she plays with, and Sonia Citron right there, nailing the three. And a timeout for the Pitt Panthers. Prosper just 17 years old. Good drive in the lane by Dacia Harris. She's fouled by Prosper. That's her, quickly, her second. That was a great read, a great take. And Deshanette Harris, great job to use her body. Deshanette Harris in and out. Recently went over 1,000 points in her career. Ursuline High School. Jenna Brown is in the game for Notre Dame. Good look down low to Marshall. Marshall stuck and loses the ball, but able to be gathered by Watson. Watson, a Euro step. Misses that one. Ball tipped and alive. Notre Dame the rebound. Again, Notre Dame gets the rebound, but stolen by Dacianette Harris. Harris drives all the way in, bothered by Miles, and a turnover to K.K. Bransford. Bransford's going to lead the break. A kick out, and a shot good and a foul. Great transition, bucket. Already a plus six in rebounding early in the first quarter. Free throw good. Notre Dame is so dominant on the defensive and offensive glass, as in the first game was a huge reason that they won against the Panthers. Janice Lewis battled through some injuries. Now another opportunity here with the Irish as that one rattles home. It was blocked, but she stayed with it and got it to fall down. Nation at Harris at the foul line, short. Ball knocked around and controlled by Westbelt to Citron. Notre Dame, 7 of 14 from the floor to start off. 2 of 6 for 3. The Panthers, 3 of 10, and have yet to make a three pointer. Westbelt trapped on the baseline. Good defense by Axenor, but is able to get it to Bransford. Bransford, Bransford drives in and scores. Bransford, That's 6. Two tough buckets right in a row. Lead is now a dozen. Exenor will take the deep jumper off the front rim. And the Panthers struggling right now. Brown down low to Westbelt. And good unselfish play. Watson misses the shot, gets her own rebound. Ball tipped around, controlled by Watson again. Good bullet pass down low to Westfield. Bransford with a nice assist. 14 point lead. Dacian at Harris trying to cut into that. Misses the jumper. Watson comes down with the rebound. Brown drives in. Her runner is no good, but a foul call. Not seeing that across the NCAA, I don't think, Jeff. No, and I wouldn't say it's your typical bench when you have a Dacian at Harris coming off that bench. You see Terry Mitchell. And the second free throw is good. Washington is waiting in the corner looking for an opportunity. Hand off from Hayford. Five to shoot. Washington nearly turns it over. Amber Brown, one to shoot. And Panthers get a break, I think. It avoids a fast break opportunity with the shot clock violation. Miles had a double-double against the Panthers. Had eight assists in the fourth quarter of that game. 
as Notre Dame needed all of them. They end up with a six-point win and a foul down low. Debo's free throw is no good, but nine of 17 from the floor. And a 14-3 lead in rebounding. 24-8. And all Notre Dame here in this first quarter. Amy Hayford drives. Has Amber Brown, but takes the shot. Brown fights for the offense rebound off her hands with 2.7 to play. Miles from half court. Off the rim, no good. Notre Dame shoots 53% in the first quarter. It is a 24-8 lead over the Pitt Panthers. And not just that, how about seven different players for Notre Dame have at least one rebound? Yeah, they're spreading the wealth in all stat categories today. As you see right now, maybe this is affecting or will affect Olivia Miles. They're playing a little bit of a box and one against her. Watson misses the shot as Washington's went down, and the ball goes to Pitt. The energy group is out there, and they need something, some kind of spark. Washington's guarded by Miles to Hutcherson. And if Pitt can capitalize off some of these opportunities, they could get themselves back in the basketball game. Aliyah Johnson drives, her shot no good, and no second opportunities as Notre Dame has controlled the glass. Transferred over to Miles. Miles drives and is fouled. Gets herself an opportunity to score her maybe first or second point of the basketball game. Shooting 77% from the line and makes the second one. And a turnover on a misread pass. Citron is able to lay it up and in. She made that look easier than it is. King gets the loose ball, tries to get it ahead to Brown, who's able to race it down on Westfeld and lay it up and in. Westfeld will take the three. No good. Good positioning and a rebound by Leah Tu King. Leah Tu King averaging nearly eight rebounds a game, one of the best in the ACC. Of course, the challenge against the big Notre Dame team. Yeah, she is fourth in the ACC, leads her team in rebounding. If she can get on the glass, it could help give her, her teammates a little bit more opportunities. And Amber Brown is able to work free and lay it up and in. Four straight for Brown. We'll see if any of them, Dacian and Harris, including uh, her, herself, get into a flow of the game moving forward. That was a great fake by Bransford, unable to finish. Panthers coming the other way. And to cut into this 15-point lead. Notre Dame just one of 11 shooting here in the second half, or in the second quarter. Lewis, good feed down low, a head fake by Brown. And Amber Brown with seven of the Panthers' 14 points. And that's what the Panthers need to do a better job at, being really patient, getting into the paint, making nice interior passes. Amber Brown, little shot fake, waits a minute, gets her up in the air, and scores an easy two. And Citron hits an easy three, wide open. Lewis to Harris. Harris fake. Her runner is no good, and rebound to Watson. And the Panthers right there, they didn't even have anybody on the offensive glass. There were four Notre Dame players inside the paint to get that defensive rebound. And Sonia's getting hot. Two straight threes. Three for three from the three-point line. Four for five from the field. Take by Brown. Brown goes up and is fouled. We'll go to the line. And free throw is good. Eight for Brown. She would need a couple big ones, but I guess still in the realm of possibility of getting 1,000 points before her Panther career is over. Westbell can hit the three and does. Second for Maddie Westbell. Notre Dame's up 20. Strickland is someone who can hit a three, but that's someone 6'5 closing out on you. Five to shoot now. Strickland over to Johnson. Johnson's runner is no good. Shot clock violation. Talia Marshall looking for an opportunity here today to make it. Offensive impact, and she is fouled as she was going to the left hand. Notre Dame, Ebo, Prosper, 
Citron and Watson all have two. Free throw good for Marshall. Marshall had three rebounds, no points in the first matchup against the Panthers. Two points here today. King, three-pointer, no good. But King fights for that offensive rebound to Lewis. And there's something that Pitt needs, a little bit of offensive rebounding from Leah to King. King shot, no good. Rebound with 30 seconds to play here in the first half. And Notre Dame can run out this clock, and it looks like they're going to do that. Olivia Miles dribbling here in the corner. 38-16, Notre Dame lead. Panthers shooting just 22% here in the first half. Miles jump shot is no good. Tip rebound by Ebo. She goes up and in. And how fitting for Notre Dame that they finish with a rebound and a putback score. And welcome back. It is halftime here in Pittsburgh. And, you know, we are blessed in the ACC Conference to have so many good players. Olivia Miles, you'd probably feel good if you're the Panthers. Hey, she only had one point in the first half, but she's been able to dish. She rebounds. She's doing other things. They have to score the basketball, Jeff, to stay in this basketball game. Yeah, and that first meeting was a six-point Notre Dame lead. You saw the difference of stats at the half. We'll see if the Panthers, starting with their energy group here in the second half, uh, if they can get something going. Loose ball controlled by Olivia Miles. Miles pushing, pushing off her foot and out of bounds, and it will be Pitt basketball. And while it's the energy group for Pitt, obviously, you can't make it all up at once. You just kind of got to get that first one. A couple of misses early on for the Panthers to start the second half. Miles left wide open and hits the three. And there's Olivia Miles starting to score the basketball in the second half. Right, she's doing enough for them otherwise. Rebound the basketball, finding her teammates. She's always impacting the basketball game. Marley's left hand shot is good. About 12 feet. It was like a little double clutch there. Good look down low, and Watson, no foul called. And the ball is loose to Amber Brown. Brown, good move by Amber Brown. You know, it's part of the game where defenders, now you're used to looking out for a kick out from three, and Brown was able to take advantage of that as Watson scores down low for Notre Dame, and they just keep rolling. Hayford. Brown's going to drive on Watson. Throws up a wild shot that goes down off the glass. Acrobatic shot by Amber Brown. Miles, guarded by Hayford as West Bell just runs over Washington. I don't know, tough call there. Yeah, it looked like position was good. But West Bell will go to the line and Washington's to the bench. A five-player substitution for the Panthers. King, Harris, Exenor, Lewis, and Strickland as West Bell gets the second one. It's 11 points. King with two to shoot, turn around, and that shot off the side of the backboard. Third time today we've seen the shot clock violation on Pitt. And inbound to Ebo, and she scores, and will go to the line, the opportunity for a three-point play. What a great opportunity to see the smile on Ebo's face for her to kind of work her way back as Notre Dame's thinking big picture here, not just the last few games, but ACC tournament. Lewis. Good give and go, but just unable to be controlled by Azaza. Yeah, it was too tough of a great read by Shanice Lewis, just too tough of a pass. And Westfeld hits the jumper for Notre Dame. Jeff Hathorne and Brandon O'Rourke Kelly here at the Peterson Event Center. The Panthers looking to try to get something going and even when they get shots off, they're so contested. They're, they're having to try these acrobatic shots. But when you need her to score, like today, she's going to get it done for you. And you see the rest of the team just 13%. That is nine for Ebo with five rebounds. Make that double digits for Ebo the 12th time this season and 36th time in her career. Nation at Harris, high arcing three, no good. Rebound to Allen or excuse me, to Brown. Jenna Brown. And a 
look down low from Prosper. So you've got Watson at 6-4 right now. Marshall, 6-5. And she gets the inbound pass. And the ball is taken away, but right to Miles, who gets it right back to Marshall. The nifty pass down low. Marshall stuck with it. The Panthers were all over her. They had three players on her. And an up and under by Strickland. And a block by Leah Tu King on Marshall. The Panthers quickly the other way. Good step and move. It is senior day. It is chancellor day. It is alumni day. The Panthers recognizing a couple of their NCAA tournament teams from other sports today. And a retirement that we're going to bring you at the end. And just continued to build on a lead. Lewis trying to cut into it. She's fouled from three. So Lewis will shoot three. Jenna Brown, the foul. First one is good. Not want to foul a three-point shooter. Lewis, 74%. was injured last year at Maryland. Getting this opportunity here. But she and the other five Panthers seniors all have a year of eligibility left. So we'll see if... They decide to play another year if they decide to play here or somewhere else or if they just decide to to go on with life's work, is a famous quote here in Pittsburgh, as Bransford drives and scores with the left hand. That was a tough take by KK. Prosper is the only fighting Irish player that has not scored. Amber Brown has scored, and that one rolls off. Jenna Brown will work some clock. Kick it over, four. Bransford, runner, front rim no good. Rebound by the Panthers. That'll do it here in the third quarter. Panthers trail Notre Dame. And it's hard not to have seen an impact that the Bruce family has made at the University of Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's right. As her, her brother was a head coach here as well. They've really been a force at this program. Her daughter, Shayla Scott, also wore a Pitt uniform, was a tremendous player as well here at Pitt. Shout out to the entire family and congratulations to Jennifer Bruce. And cool that she could share that with her grandkids as well. Yeah, special moment for that whole family. Lewis kicks it. King just inside the free throw line. No good rebound to Westfeld for sixth. Wide open jumper that Leah to King, I'm sure, would like to get back. Nobody even stopped the basketball in transition. Jennifer Bruce. One dribble. The shot no good. Rebound to Amber Brown. And Brown has it stolen by Olivia Miles. And that was just a great play, heads-up play by Olivia Miles. Yeah, and you know what, Jeff? She's she's barely, well, for her average, has scored the basketball just six points. But She, like Prosper, came right out of high school and started playing for Notre Dame in ACC play. And Citron hits the jumper, which is amazing to think of walking right out of high school into that level of competition for either of them. Yeah, it's a tough transition enough coming from a senior in high school to the ACC. You get the entire summer, the fall for preparation, but those two were thrown in it right away as Prosper just arrived on campus the day after Christmas as she might have heard us and just knocked the three down for Notre Dame. And she hits the three and her first points of the game. What is one area that your Notre Dame you really want to work on here in the last couple of games? As Miles gets the steal and lays it up and in. Oh, I would say probably their defense is something that they may want to clean up. But Olivia Miles does so much for this Notre Dame program. And as we didn't see her best today, maybe she she leads this squad and she will lead them, I'm sure, of it through the NCAA tournament. And Washington's nearly got the steal off of Miles. Citron from the corner, and a rare miss for Sonia. And it wasn't missed by much. Neil Ivy leading this program. She has been in all nine of Notre Dame's final four appearances, two as a player, seven as an assistant coach. She won a national championship as a point guard for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I am sure that is on her list of things to accomplish with this young squad. Wow, they just share the ball so well as Watson finishes down low for Ivy. And a free throw good on the three-point play by Watson. Harris to Brown. 
Struther, three from the corner is good. Destiny Struther. And you wonder if once she gets to 10, if that happens, if we would see her then exit. To keep that average up, they made just just do that with four minutes left in this basketball game. Some Deschanets from Ursuline High School in Youngstown. That's not a foul. You would get laughed at if you would have called that a foul. I had a teammate who played at the same high school as her, so I know all too well about that. Now 10 points for Miles to go with 11 rebounds and 5 assists. Ball tipped and controlled by Watson to Olivia Miles. Miles surveys. Marshall is fouled by Hayford. She is a player, though, if you're a college basketball fan. Notice I just said college basketball, not men's or women's. You want to go to a game because you don't know what she might do. Absolutely. And we talked about this off air, you and I. We're always talking about triple-double watches for Olivia Miles. Yet here we are again, hardly talking about her performance today because she is not at her averages. However, she still has a double-double and 10 points and 11 rebounds. And a three is good. Brown's going to push and lose control of the ball. Malcolm gets it ahead. Destiny Struther, her left-handed shot is in. Five points for Destiny Struther on senior night and a timeout by the Panthers. And Yeah, and like the, the players, Amber Brown, Dacian and Harris, hitting her a 1,000 points. Amber Brown also moved into 10th place on the all-time re rebounding list here. The players have done it in a day of transfers. You know, they stuck it out. They, they, they stuck with their head coach and Lance White as they were his first recruiting class. So they have a, a lot to be proud of, of their careers here at Pitt. You think about some of the future talent, and I was thinking about Prosper on that offensive rebound and thinking she should be playing against high school players right now. And now those players are all rejoicing that she's playing in the <laughs> ACC instead. That we don't have to go against her anymore. Aislinn Malcolm hits the three. Freshman. Her name running some clock. Jenna Brown will make a three. Jenna Brown with some great energy and great stat line off the bench here Nine today. points. So everybody for Notre Dame that's on scholarship has at least five points. And a three by Struther. Notre Dame will dribble this out. 13 points for Citron and Westbell. 10 each for Miles and Ebo. 9 for Brown and Marshall. 8 for Bransford from Notre Dame. Notre Dame really, they took control of the glass early and controlled this game, Brand. Yeah, they, they were dominant across the entire stat line, Jeff, with the, those rebounds being ahead of all. 48 to 26 was the Irish over the Pitt Panthers on the board. It's hard to win any basketball game like that.